Highlander IDs. Zeist has a um a way about it, the planet Zeist. It's an old planet, and magic is strong, and it's a lot older than Earth. Uh, Civilization has been developed there a lot longer. And um, one of the things they've worked out is that life needs a bit of adventure. And that people need um, more than just a uh, 9 to 5, they need a bit of an adventure. And they need a bit of magic to jizz for jazz. They've worked that out. But they need to be, uh, men need to be men, and women need to be women, and they need a bit of adventure to get the thrill. That's one thing Zeiss and its age has worked out. That's what it's worked out, anyway, with that viewpoint. And, um, it had its, uh, white collar world for a while. And it uh, started developing into a bit of a magic, which pr was probably in religious clerical and clericalism frowned on a bit because it might have, might have gone against the creator as well. But they doubled around with it and they, they got some ideas sorted out with magic and the quickening and things like that. And Zeiss developed a bit of bit of a bit of a way about it, and. Um, it knew what was going on in the galaxy and neighboring galaxies and it had space travel worked out well enough and it has space travel worked out well enough and the Council of Zeiss which is no particularly great grand glorious planet in its own scheme they, they, are, they have sort of status in the, the, uh, the galaxy they're part of but uh, things run their own affairs largely they do their own business but they, they're aware of this Earth place. And Earth has species called human beings which are quite similar to Zeist individuals. It's quite similar in structure. There's lots of races in the, in the universe. The, the, but the bipeds of Earth are quite similar bipeds. And then Zeiss has worked out that it needs a bit of an adventure, and with this rebellion going on, when Ramirez is le leading a rebellion against Katana, it's sort of, these are younger Zeiss people who are finding their adventure, and finding their, uh, their way in um, Zeiss society, what they represent, and finding their manhood. And the Zeiss Council said to the rebel, rebels that they're going to have to go off to Earth and find immortality and fight it out there because they've got a project with Earth of Zeiss. And so they send them off to Earth. These are rebels who are trying to find their way. And uh, Highlander ended up killing Kurgan. So he got the prize. But the, the Earth project continued and as subsequent Highlander films have came along, they sent a few more and they started using that as a bit of a project for dealing with the rebels which uh, were finding their own life and things and uh, finding their manhood and their sense of adventure in Zeiss society. And, um, there is a project and a point to what the Council of Zeiss is doing with this Highlander project is to develop a bit of character and a bit of adventure in their lives and for a bit of interconnectedness in the universe with others of similar genetic and genomic ilk. <laughs>